Hi, welcome to this uh, tutorial. We're on Arch Labs 4.1. It's called Yoda and um, it has a menu. But I've seen a few reviews of uh, YouTubers and people do not know how many applications are really packed. If you see this menu, it's just some of the possibilities that you can launch. So it's just uh, the bare minimum of uh, the 80% of the tools you'll need. There are other ways of launching our menus or our applications, so we do not use them this so much. We know the name and we press Super Shift D. And this gives us the D menu. You can type, start typing and in dark table, for instance, is something I installed afterwards. It's not on the ISO. And there you go. We can launch our program with Super Shift D. Next up is Alt F3. Alt F3 is the application for an app finder for XFCE. So if you do like a menu, like in the other distros, well, here you are. This is one I still should still fix, so bear with me. First arch, then the Sardi icons and the surfing icons. Okay, so um, that's another menu. Then we have Control Spacebar. That's the Rofi menu. The same applies if you do not know the name, then it's going to be hard. But if you know the name, it's going to be Firefox in this case, then you can just launch it. So we have also the Super Spacebar, which is our channel menu. And you can right click here, but if there are programs in the way, you can right click on the top in the tint. So it always works. Always possibilities to launch. But there is also another menu. Another menu that's generated on the spot. And that's called the pipe menu. If you go to the hidden folder, and the hidden folder is in the config. In the config there is an open box folder, as you see on top here. And we have here already made for you a menu, OB menu generated XML. It works with the program and that's inside here, the configuration files. And if you switch this one with this, this one, that's it. I've shown that in other tutorials already, but I'm gonna make a separate one for just for this, because in the OB menu generated one, you'll see all the applications that's on the system, and it's a lot, 1.8 gigabyte of information. It's a lot of tuning, it's a lot of information, a lot of application, but you don't see it in this menu. So let's rename it. That's the original one, and this one is gonna be called menu. Now. If you right mouse click it, you won't see it. First you have to reload. And reloading the menu can be done here. But since I know the shortcut by heart, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, so restart or reconfigure. Reconfigure is the one we want. So we press Control Shift Backspace. Nothing happens. Trust me, it's restarted. It's a completely different menu. Let's get rid of that. And as of now, you can use this one. This is the same and this is the same. So you do have the feel that you find your stuff and it's um, still in the same place. But all of this is new. So this is what's installed on your system. In the system category, in the settings category, in the office category, in the network category, in the multimedia category, the graphics, education, development, and accessories. Like for instance, quite interesting, if you don't want to remember the name, if you want to burn the ISO, then normally, oops, sorry, <laughs> not my intention to do that. You go to terminal, main stick, something I know by heart, but if you don't want to learn all this thing by heart, that's the main stick. But you can just now go to accessories and then USB image writer it's the same and there you go so many more applications are now visible why because we've changed our menu from the standard menu to the OB menu OB menu generator so we generate each time if you use this one you generate each time a new menu it's on the spot with each right mouse click is generated it's created on some lower hardware um, pro and, and computers it'll take some time so you can generate a static menu it's also interesting to see the difference I actually should have done that 
it's um, great to see what happens actually in the code so this is the menu XML as you can see this is an XML code let's do a shortcut I don't know if I have the screen key yeah the screen key is installed let's do this guys for you install it and, and then okay blah blah that's set when I press super 4 it's going to divide it in two as you can see that's six seven eight four one two three five arrow down arrow up arrow down arrow up I want to do this so now it's split in two so whenever I press super spacebar and I say look generate a pipe menu reload it this is actually telling him generated with this program so the menu is generated on the spot when I press super spacebar it's a computer that looks on your com system what programs does he have for accessories what programs does he have for development each time and every time you press it so if you install stuff or uninstall stuff it's gonna uh, show up or disappear from the menu so if these things go, if the computer is too slow, and then you can generate a static menu. So it's going to be static, meaning it's actually no longer a menu. That's going to be created and going to be an, uh, a static menu. Voila, reload, and there you have, it's just XML code from beginning to end. And that's how it works. Even if you want to have icons, you can have that as well if you like the icons you can generate a pipe menu with icons if you do that and you press again where is it I have to wait a little bit reload so now it's gonna tell the same thing but with an I meaning icons so let's little, wait a little bit it takes longer and there you go now you have these icons you hate it or you like it um, but it's a choice you can do it and if you say each time I have to run let's try again it's a pipe menu so the program is making all these icons it has a cache file of course but anyway it takes time so super spacebar one two there it is so it takes some time so we can say no that takes too long let's make it generate a static menu with icons and then pressing super spacebar there it is again super spacebar there it is what happens it's static it's code now so that's how it works um, you like it you hate it it's a choice we give you to use it with icons use it without icons uh, it's your choice it's your computer but you have all the tools to do it enjoy